Artemis. Zeus. Artemis. Zeus. <laughs> It is a beautiful day here in Michigan, although this weekend we're supposed to be getting snow, so uh, we'll see how that goes. So I honestly don't even know what's going on yet today. I'm just getting it. And it's pretty unusual for me to be in town as long as I have. I travel so much, and I have made a couple really quick day trips, but I haven't had any major trips in the last few weeks, which is kind of weird, and it's kind of throwing my schedule off a little bit in a good way because it gives me more time here at the shop to get things done. But that being said, my schedule's a little wacky because I'm not as tight as I usually am. So uh, I know I have to go through uh, some ball pythons today. I have to start to inventory for breeding because I've got to get those groups together. And we have a big Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday sale coming up next uh, at the end of this week and early next week. I do have a lot that's kind of going on that I need to get together because, again, those sales are a big deal. Uh, breeding is a big deal. And we still have a bunch of animal work to do, so I'm just going to dove right in today. So Trevor over here was uh, doing me a favor and cleaning the big snakes without me, which is sometimes nice because they can be a handful. And uh, it's kind of cool, and I wanted to share this with you guys, is that they, they have Satan's cage cleaned right now. But I'm gonna, you can see right here, we already took out the paper. And with any luck, I'm thinking Satan has finally calmed down enough to where we can actually take the paper off and let her see out and, and we can see her. <laughs> which would be really cool because up until now the reason the paper was there was because when she saw people walk by she'd smash her head on the cage and then she'd mess her mouth up a lot so we don't want to do it so so we're going to give it a shot and we're going to take the paper off get her back in the cage and just see how she reacts and over the next couple days we'll decide whether or not it was a good or bad move so we'll see what happens hey satan what's up Ugh. come on girl So there she is. The cage is clear. She's wagging her tail a little bit. She's probably kind of freaking out. Like, what's going on here? I'm used to being in the spot where I can't see anybody. Look at her wagging the tail. But she should be okay. She seems like she's pretty calm. So uh, again, what we'll do is we'll give her uh, a few days and just see what happens. As long as she doesn't bang her head on the cage. Um, that's good, so that's progress. All right, so Lori is saying that she's going to start a vlog channel for her own stuff because she says that she wants to... <laughs> because you're a liar! You make stuff up! I didn't make it up! I bought you the shoes! Tell the you don't tell the whole story! It was, it was a story. No, it was I bought the story. shoes. I bought the no. shoes. No, I was going to buy the shoes. You were going to see if you could get a discount. You didn't even know they were existed. You didn't, oh, I'm going to go online and find That's Lord right. I found your shoes. shoes. I found your shoes. Liar. I, <laughs> you know what? Get... <laughs> Trevor. Yeah. Whose team are you going to be on? Brian or Lori's vlog? I'm a neutral, I'm team bar check. That way it's up for interpretation. No, you pick it. You pick it. You pick either Lori or you pick me. Team Bartrack. <laughs> Lori? <laughs> All right, I'll give him that pass because by saying Team Bartrack, I know he really Wait, 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 hold on a second. Who gives me my paycheck? Team Lori! <laughs> Team Lori? What? <laughs> Man, this is, this is mutiny. This All right, wait, wait. Keep on a lookout because Lori's vlog's coming and it'll be the truth behind the scenes. It's gonna be the worst vlog. No one's gonna watch it. No one will watch that. This is mutiny. 
Mutiny, people! All right, so you guys are not gonna believe what just happened to me. I was uh, just thinking I would get out and do some drone shots and some other shots and <sighs> I flew my drone under this bridge and, and I didn't have a real good depth perception so I thought I was beyond the bridge and I wanted to go up and over because my batteries were getting low and I must not have gotten all the way under the bridge and when I started to go up I clipped the bridge the drone went into the water I went to go run for the drone and my phone that was attached to my controller which is what I use to see where I'm flying went flying into the leaves and here I am now I couldn't I spent the last half hour looking for my phone I can't find my phone. So it's somewhere out by the river. Uh, I felt it you know, fly away when I was running for my drone. Have no idea where my phone is. So I'm heading back to the shop to grab another phone so that I can hopefully call that phone and hopefully the light will light up now that it's dark outside. If not, I'm screwed. I've just completely, and I just literally got this phone two days ago. So wish me luck, guys. I have literally been out here for 25 minutes walking a grid. You can see it's pitch black out here. I, I am absolutely freaking out, man. I don't know what to do. I got no choice but to keep looking. Holy shit, oh my gosh, that's it. Oh, oh my gosh, I I am so happy right now. As a matter of fact, I just dropped the phone. Oh my gosh, don't drop it, Brian. <laughs> oh my God, I literally, I, I've been out here for like 20, 30 minutes after dark. Oh my God, thank you. All right, what a relief. I know you guys are thinking, what a complete moron. But what happened was the drone, it hit the bridge, it fell in the water, I panicked, I was running, my phone went flying, and I thought, oh, I'll just go back to it, not thinking, look at this ground, it's just nothing but leaves. So my phone just obviously settled in, and then what's worse is I tried to call the phone at night, thinking, all right, well, I'll see the light, and it was face down, like you guys saw, so I couldn't see the light, and I have my phone on silent because it rings all the time. <sighs> okay, guys, I've gotta calm down, I'm an idiot. Alright, <laughs> what a mess that was. You know, through the insanity of uh, trying to mind my phone and just kind of panicking about, you know, because I mean, I got, you know, it's a brand new phone, but I put all my stuff on it. So it's got all my contacts, my text messages, my phone numbers. It's got, you know, it's got everything, all my apps. And, and, and you know, yeah, I could recover the stuff, but, you know, I just got the phone. So I was freaking out. Now I'm starting to think, like, man, I hope my drone's okay. You know, I mean, um, you know what happened guys was was I was you know t I was just boasting uh, you know two days ago how I've really gotten good at flying the drone and that now I'll fly it into some really sketchy areas with really tight spots because I feel pretty confident about it and what happened was it was dust so my depth perception wasn't really good and I flew it underneath that bridge and I thought that I had gotten to the other side and then I could go up and then back over to me and so when I started to go up I obviously had not gotten through the bridge and it clipped the top of the bridge it fell right into the water so now the question is how do these drones fare when they've been submerged in water uh, I mean it's not like um, it's, it was only in there for you know 30 seconds or something like that but uh, you know yeah, I may have, I may be sending my drone out for repairs, and uh, I'm just mad at myself because I was just saying how I don't crash my drone. Anyways, guys, uh, it'll all work out, man. You know, it's like I always say to everybody, right? Is that you know, no matter what happens, don't stress out. It's gonna be okay. It all works out in the end. And uh, this is a little bit of a life lesson, you know, maybe uh, uh, to say, hey, it seemed like it was gonna be pretty bad, but I've got my phone back. My drone is sitting back here drying out, so hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully I'm sharing some really cool drone footage, including a crash for you guys. And uh, 
And you know, I think if nothing else through this vlog is that you guys are starting to see that, you know, hey, I think I'm a pretty intelligent guy, but at the same time, I'm pretty airheaded and I'm pretty ADD and I'm pretty all over the place. And uh, you guys are getting to see part of me that a lot of people probably don't see that often. <laughs> so, uh, so I hope you're enjoying it. Anyways, guys, uh, it's been a crazy day. I'm glad it's ended. I'm going to go home and spend some time with the family and try to decompress from this really stressful, <laughs> stressful day. So uh, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.